All right, we are back. It's time for your holiday desserts. Yes, with Regal, and uh, we are having a whole heap of chefs passing through. And you know, I can't do desserts without this lady. Chefs Cheryl and Short Charles is in the building. Yes, with the cold. <laughs> If you're not hearing Cheryl, she's speaking, it's just her voice is not as loud as it should be. Yeah, well, yeah, true. She's battling the flu. She's battling yes, the flu. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm winning the battle. And you're winning the hopefully, battle. Hopefully, hopefully. What in heaven's name is this? No, this it's we a have... Of chocolate. No, it's That's not. It looks like chocolate, but it's not it's chocolate. It's not chocolate? No, it's called a sticky, toughy pudding cake. Sticky, toughy... Pudding, pudding cake. It's pudding is like. No, gooey. it's like it's well, it's gooey because you, when you eat it warm right. with the toffee inside of it, that makes it really gooey and sticky, you know. So there are like surprises inside. No, there's no surprise. The only surprise I have is what I did. Outside of the norm is I soaked the dates in rum. These are dates. Yes, These dates are, regal, are the main regal dates. regal dates, right? Now remember, dates normally the skin is very a little tough, a little chewy. So I soaked it in some rum and some leftover red wine that I had, you know. Because you always have leftover red wine. We always have <laughs> leftover red wine. So I can eat this as is, soaked. Yes, yeah. You can eat it as is. I put an extra one for you to taste it. Now you see. Now the thing about it, why I did it this way too, is a lot of people, as you were going to say, we have layers of alcohol. Yes, <laughs> layers of alcohol happening. Is not a date person. I'm not a date person. Right. So, but it didn't taste like a date. Exactly. Because the alcohol inside of there now marries with it. Remember, in, with the fruits, it br brings out the flavor more of the date. Mm -hmm. So it, it mellows the 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 to sweetness and gooiness that people don't like about dates. Because I really don't like dates either. Right. You know, okay. but doing it this way. So what I want you to do for me, though, is I want you to, to give them a rough chop. So this comes in a nice pack, Regal has yes. this in a nice pack, mm -hmm. and you can buy it, and I suppose. And it's seedless, it's you know. It's seedless as well. Seedless as well. Right, just give right. me a little rough chop on it. Just give me a little rough chop on it. While you do that, I have sugar here, right? right? Two eggs. So this is one. We're making this sticky, doughy yes, thing. Yes. Puddingy thing. Yes, and there's two tablespoons of butter we put in here. Right? And I'm going to mix this up. Now, in this spot here, what I have boiling in this spot here is I strained the liquid from the dates. The alcohol. Right and I boil it. Now, this recipe has baking soda in it. You can put the dates in here. I think that's about that's it. Good. Yeah. Now, this recipe has baking soda as well as baking powder. But what happens is it doesn't have any acid in it that is required to activate the baking soda. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour, pour the boiling liquid in there. So that's whatever alcohol that remain from the dates. Right. You pour and we're in there. Going to put the baking soda. So you see what's happening here? The, what's that process called? The baking soda now has been activated. Because if we go into all the chemical jargons, you know, with CH2 and H2O and gases, you're Plain people. simple, yes. You're you don't want to confuse boiling people. water or boiling liquid together with the baking soda activates the carbon dioxide. Talk done. <laughs> right? That's so you a, see. That's a scientist, that's a chef talking. Right. <laughs> so you see, it's been activated, yeah. all the bubbles, right? And in here, as I said, I have the butter, the eggs, and the sugar. And it's a simple mixture. In this bowl, I have the flour. One and a half cup of flour together with two teaspoons of the regal bacon powder. Right. And what we're going to do is we're going to put everything inside here. So you put your dates and I'll put my sugar mixture. So the because basically it's dry. I know, I know you, you guys. And wet, yes. The wet going into two the dry. Two stage, right. Mm -hmm. You get well, it. Two, you know, yes, sure. man. Yeah. I realize yeah, yeah, yeah. you read a lot while we were on break, <laughs> which is a good thing. 
right? And you mix all that together. And you mix it all together. So continue mixing that for you. Now, this is my new thing. We're going to bake our... You finish mix there? Yes, ma'am. Put pre-mix? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> right? So we're going to bake our cake inside of this... You serious? Green peas tin. So what you want to be careful of, why I put... Um, foil on it is there are different types of openers so the opener that open this one cleanly open it and it's going to be a little sharp so i put some foil around the edges so that you don't cut yourself right, right? or if you have the other one that will leave the little rim that's fine so i just sprayed it that's important yeah or if you have baking paper you can cut it and line it right and then you're going to fill it for me now, we don't want to fill it all the way. Mm -hmm. We're going to just fill it about three quarters. Right, come, let me help you there. Sure. Yeah, man. You're balancing well. Put it three quarters. Three quarters of the way. Whoa. You messed up the nature. Oh, gosh. Yes. Well, you could clean it, take it, clean it, take it, clean it. Three quarters. Three quarters, right. That's about good. Right? Three quarters. Wipe out it, clean up your mess. That's real mess, boy. <laughs> right? Now, the thing about it now, okay, so... We still have some more, so if you have more tins, keep saving keep your tins, keep saving your tins. You make sure and wash them good, dry them out because you don't want them to get rust, right? And we, then we have our toffee sauce. Now our toffee sauce... Which is this sauce over there. Which over. is that sauce over there. Right. Is made with the regal icing sugar. Right. Normally people will make it with brown sugar or white sugar. I like to use the regal icing sugar because it melts very fast, right? So... So this is, just, this is just icing and sugar inside of it on heat and no, it will no melt added. down. No liquid added. We'll sure. add the liquid after it's melted down. Right. Chef, it's so, literally like sugar browning. Yes, yeah. it is. Icing because sugar. icing and sugar is sugar, right. you know, and you add cornstarch and stuff to it. So you see how it gets that nice caramelized color. Mm. Right. And then we're going to add some half and half to it. That's half and half. Yes. Still keep stirring? Yeah, keep stirring. Yeah, don't burn yourself. Yeah. You know. Can I play back one? Play back one? Yeah, let's look at it. Right, nice. Let's put a little more in there. Right? But stirring, keep stirring, keep it's stirring. important. Mm -hmm. And then we put the butter in. But I guess it's that nice buttery flavor. So while you keep stirring that, I'm going to put our cake in the oven, right, at 350. And I have one here. That's this is a caramel sauce or caramel? Yeah, it's simple, so simple. So regal simple. Icing sugar. Regal icing sugar. Some half and half. Some half and, and half. And butter? Or if you don't have, if you can't get half and half, you just put some cream and you put some milk together. Right, and butter, and that's it. Right, we have one here. I'm go just going to use, you know, a knife to loosen it a little bit. Pull it out nicely. Guys, this right. recipe you can get on trinicooks.com. I see you um, have a play there. Can I make a plate, please? We are doing all these wonderful desserts for you over the course of the holidays, so you can try at home and impress Look. Your friends when they come nice. over the holidays. Right. Chef Cheryl is doing a pudding. Put it in a pan. Yes. Put it in a pan. Chef, this is good texture here. This is good. Oh, nice and gooey. Right? Now, what we do, we take this and we. Hey. Now, you see, Trini is like the, the fruit cake and the black cake, so I don't want to spoil it and say this could replace it, but it would give you a second best dessert for the holidays. You want to take a, a swing at that? Impressive looking as well, though. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. You know? Wow. So let me cut you a little you piece like here. Thing, you? Yeah, well, you see, it's supposed to be eaten warm and nice. It's supposed to be eh? warm. Yeah, and gooey. 
Now, what I did do as well is the remain, if I have alcohol remaining from the cake, I also give it a little drizzle now. To because, add an extra. Because you're a chef, Cheryl, and sure, Charles. Yes. You need an extra alcohol there. Of course. Get this recipe on trinicooks.com, guys. It's Chef Cheryl's pudding. The toffee. Sticky toffee pudding cake. The sticky stuffing pudding cake. Just search it on trinicooks.com and try this one. This is a good one. Christmas is it, brought to you by the folks at Regal. Every week we're going to have a different recipe for you so that you can try one that you see that you like right here on a cup of tea. Mm -hmm.